So in this video we are going to go through some solved problems for measuring the area of some shapes that we have studied earlier. So the first problem says that find the areas of rectangles whose sides are as shown below. So we will be tackling them one by one. So for A we have the length L as 4 cm and the width W as 3 cm, the shorter side. So we know that the area equals length into width or we can simply multiply 4 by 3 which gives us 12 square centimeters. Problem B, we have L equals 12 meter and or we can say that yeah we can doesn't really matter but I would just as a matter of convention keep the shorter side as W so then in this case W is 12 meter and L is 21 meter so the area equals length multiplied by width which is 21 multiplied by 12 which equals to 252 square centimeters or centimeter squared then we have the third problem in which the length L when I say L which is the longer side is 3 kilometers and the width W that is equal to 2 kilometers so the area of this rectangle which is length into width or 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 square kilometers and when we go for the problem D in which the length L which is the longer one is 2 meters and the width W is 70 centimeter now we know that 1 meter equals 100 centimeter therefore 2 meters is going to be 200 centimeters this is so that we have both the quantities in same units therefore we can say that the area is L into W or it is 200 multiplied by 70 which is 14,000 square centimeter or it is also 140 square meters that is because one cent, uh, 100 centimeters equals 1 meter now let us look at another problem and in this time we are going to use area for comparison this is one of the more practical uses where we use area so sometimes it is just difficult to by visual inspection or we may not be available at the place where we want to measure the area that times we use area to measure the region that is covered or to compare the region that is covered by various shapes so in this example they, they say that the length and breadth of three rectangles are given below which one has the largest area and which one has the smallest so let us just try to proceed to find out the area of rectangle A equals length into width which is 9 meter multiplied by 6 which gives us 54 square meters now we look at area of rectangle B which is again given by length into width and we have 17 multiplied by 3 so which is 1 carried over we get 3 7 are 21 and 3 1 are 3 plus 2 51 square meters and then area of 
rectangle C is again given by length into width and we have 14 meters multiplied by 4 which is 6 and 56 square meters. Now we have to find out which one has the largest area. So if we just need to compare 54, 51 and 56, we see that 56 is the biggest number and we should also see whether all the squares are same. So all the three are being measured in meters, meters squared. Okay, so 56 is the biggest. Therefore, we can say that area of rectangle C is largest. And which one is the smallest amongst these areas? It is B. Therefore, we can say that area of rectangle B is smallest. So this is a practical example where we just calculated the area and found out which one is largest and smallest. So we are using the area for comparison. Now, now let's try to find out the area of squares. So we are supposed to find out areas of squares whose sides are given below. So we know that area of square A, A whose side is 10, we know that area is length multiplied by length which is nothing but 100 centimeter square then area of square B is length multiplied by length which is 14 multiplied by 14 so when I multiply 14 by 14 so 14 squared gives me 196 centimeter square so this is another notation centimeter square or you could also write this as square centimeters this is one and the same thing we are just giving that what is the unit in which the small squares are counted and then we go for the area of square C which is again length multiplied by length is 5 multiplied by 5 it is 25 meter squared because this here is meters okay so the next problem says that the area of a rectangular garden 50 meter long is 300 square centimeter. Find out the width of the garden. So now here we can use a little bit of visualization. So we have this rectangular garden and we are told that the area of this the region covered is 300 square meters it's in meters and now the length L L is given as 50 meter so I can say that this L here is 50 meter now since it's the opposite side so this L is also going to be 50 meter now what is the width? We do not know the width of the garden. So in this case, if you remember the way in which we calculated or we arrived at the rule for calculating the area for the rectangle, we just said that the area equals L length multiplied by width. Now we just see what are what are the known things that we have here. So we know that area is 300 meters square. I know that the length L, so this is the area, the length L is 50 and this W stays as it is. Now what we will do is we will multiply, uh, divide both the sides by 50 to get rid of this 50 at this side. So we will have 300 divided by 50 equals 50 into W by 50 
So this 50 gets cancelled out and when we do this division we will get 6 equals w. So the width of the garden is 6 meters.